Alright guys, welcome to Virtual Virginia Trucking. I'm Luke. Um, basically, this is going to be my first video because all my others seem to have failed when uploading. So, I'm going to try and make them interesting, fun to watch. Um, also, on some videos I might have the uh, face cam sort of thing set up so you can see me actually trucking. That sounds so wrong. But anyway... We're doing a trip today, Grimsby to Manchester, I don't know how long it's going to take, it shouldn't be too long. Um, so basically I'm just going to get set up and grab my drink and all my food and all my stuff. And then I'll be on my way, so literally on your screen it'll be like a second. Uh, I'm just going to be back in a minute guys. <coughs> Alright guys, welcome back. That was literally like a second for you, like five for me like I said before probably. But we're going to get underway. And this chair is so uncomfortable. Whoa, that was loud. So... Oh, I really need to get track AR because I can't be asked moving my mouse all the time. So... Even that indicator is bloody loud. Um... So yeah, we're getting underway. Uh, we've got enough fuel. There's a bit of damage on the truck. Oh, what a kind gentleman. Yeah, so we're uh, run underway. It's like an epic trip just from Grimsby to Manchester. And it's going to take us... Wait, let me find out where I'm going first. Right, three hours and seven minutes on the clock, which is probably like 20 minutes. Real driving time. So, what was it? 120 miles almost. Oh, bollocks, the camera. Alright, I thought it was the third, it? <coughs> so, at the moment, I'm trying to think of something to talk about. Um, not really lots popping into my head. Although, oh, I had something earlier. What was it? Come on. What was it? Um,. Damn it, I forgot. So I'm, I'm going to stop recording now. Um, probably when I'm about 70 miles into the trip I'll record again. Unless I see anything worth recording. So, um, as before, I'm back in literally a second. And, uh, yes. Proceed. Alright guys, so it's not long since I pressed uh, stop recording on that last little clip. I'm back again. I thought of something to talk about. I talked about it in one of my other videos, but um, I'm going to talk about it in this one. Seems this is one that I'm be uploading. Basically, this game is called Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, a lot of people I know were uh, play it a little bit. I mean, I'm into it massively because obviously I work with trucks, and uh, I don't know. I just like oh, it's like a job I won't mind doing. Uh, when I'm older so to speak and uh, got all my licenses and that for driving and uh, all the different categories of trucks like you've I can't remember what it is you go up in certain tonnage of uh, trucks so um, yeah Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, it's a great game slash simulator um, loads of mods out there for the game. Uh, I'll discuss the good and bad points. Bad being AI traffic is uh, rather gay. You get cars like thinking they can drive through you and they're invincible and all that stuff. They all pull into your lane, all sorts of crap like that. Um, also they slam the brakes on it's like every AI car is being driven by an old age pensioner it really is, it just does you nothing but on the other hand it is quite clever in some areas uh, for, take for instance junctions the AI cars will actually flash you through to let you uh, go first sort of thing and that is pretty damn clever if you're uh, asking me 
which probably wasn't but oh well um, but yeah that is a, a clever little feature for the AI traffic um, also there's a, there's a fair bit of a variety of different uh, types of cars you've got like your escorts all that sort of stuff Fiat Puntos um, there are mods for like police cars Ferraris all the stuff that younger kids on the game might be interested in for me I'm going for realism I've got physics mod uh, all different skins, real, uh, real life uh, trailers. Uh, obviously, I've got the uh, Virginia textures on my trucks. I've got this Volvo and the uh, Scania, Scania in the white texture, and this in the uh, rather nice black texture. Um, other features you get add-on map sort of things map mods I should say that allow you to venture further into Europe uh, I'm still waiting for an island to be made because that will be epic as um, one Virginia is Irish it's an Irish company uh, two at work I deal with Irish trucks and when they say no I'm, they're going to Hollyhead and then crossing over and whatever I was like, well that would be a, a nice trip to do on uh, truck sim, but unfortunately there is no uh, island, which is a shame because I really would love to do that. So overall, summing up the game, it's good, depending on what you want to use it for, and if you have the equipment to um, use the game properly, I've got a um, Thrustmaster steering wheel. Uh, it costs about 400 quid. Uh, it's a T500, I think it's called, something like that. Uh, it is an awesome steering wheel. Simulates tyre blowouts. Uh, it's well, so I'm trying to think of things. If you hit the barriers and that, it'll simulate it. Uh, simulate different road surfaces like smooth tarmac to bumpy gravel and. Uh, like quarry yard sort of things um, so yeah as I say if we've got the right equipment for the game bang on personally I'd rate it about a 9 out of 10 just for the simple fact that there are little things that I wish could be better uh, multiplayer is one of the things I would really love to see from this game it would be awesome if uh, I don't know if any of you know but on Flight Simulator X you get virtual airlines and this will be awesome if you get virtual trucking companies so um, you get a group of mates together join this one of you start a company up other people join it you all do the hauls to get the money and it should be like a scoreboard sort of system on which trucking company is leading so you could have like virtual Stobarts against virtual Virginia against virtual DHL and all the other companies like TNT you've got uh, ND all the sort of trucking companies if you have virtual on them it would be absolutely sick so that's it. enough of me talking for this little bit of leg of the trip we've only got 31 miles left so I'm going to save this little uh, end bit for when I actually uh, get there and I think I'm going to overtake this dude because he's going rather slow so I will be back shortly dudes and dudettes yeah dude wow I just thought of uh, finding Nemo and the turtle <laughs> anyway proceed alright guys so we're a mile out of Manchester now um, I'm hoping we can go into DHL and see what that's like there today. And I'm slightly over the line there. It's because this stupid camera view keeps moving every time I nudge the mouse slightly. What the hell was that? There's nowhere near the barrier. There's nowhere near another car. 
I'm guessing it's that brow of the hill that I slightly went over a bit fast. Oh well, not to worry. That would help. Don't try and pull off with the handbrake on. <sighs> Come on! Pull out from these trucks. Slow trucks get in my way. So, overall the trip has been rather nice. I like these little trips. Um, I don't, so, don't, oh, I don't so much like the um, long haul trips because I find them quite boring. I like trying to, um, I just like picking up loads, dropping them off, pick up, drop, pick up, drop. Just keep doing that all night and I will be happy. All night, what am I saying? It's in the morning. Oh, I'm still waking up guys, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> I basically work nights if no one knows, uh, people who know me and watch this will know. I work nights at DHL East Midlands Airport. Um, so I finished work at about 20 to 6 this morning. And got home and got up about half 10. Well I went to sleep when I got in about about seven I went to bed. Ooh, that's a nice trailer. Um And then got up at half ten. And then came straight on here to uh, make these videos because I'm such a nice person and I want to entertain. Not really, it's just because I like trucking. Keep trucking. slightly off come on oh I want it bang on on the bank This is where I get quiet because I like to concentrate. Why is that so wonky? <laughs> Let's have a down view. It's wonky as hell. Let me correct this. I'm not finishing this video until I've successfully backed on straight. Can't stand wonky parking. Does my nothing. Now we've got to go to we touch the back. Which is there. And that my friends is how you do a trip. Been a great trip. Thanks for watching. I've been Luke. You've been watching Virtual Virginia Trucking. Adios amigos.